Okay, original Ephiakas. This is before they changed them from the Zodiacs of the 12. Um, they changed it from the 13th. November 30th to December 17th, Blue Topaz, Topaz, Snake Charmer, Mix, the alchemic symbol, Sun, Earth, Verdigris, and Azurite. <clears throat> All right, what can we get for Raphaicus? We got the Six of Coins. And we've got the lovers, both in the upright. My apologies for any of the noise in the background. Okay, so giving to a new relationship or a current existing relationship. And it's uh, overlooked by, it's overlooked by the spiritual realm. Okay, so you got your sun and your moon, which means there's a good balance here. Um, the trees are fruitful. And you have more than enough to share. Between the two of you, I think it's almost like you're sharing together. Either this is for a charity or this is just you sharing between yourselves. So i uh, get a little bit more information about that. The man's holding a cane. Which also, when it comes to the eight. Going on a journey. So maybe he's just come back from his journey or he's already done his work, his internal work. That's why there's an abundance of things to share. He's already done his internal work. And that makes this union a lot easier. So this is either for you or somebody that, that you're dealing with right now. You see them getting together or they're already together. And they could be a spiritual couple that does, I wouldn't say take pity, but does care about those that are homeless, those that are less fortunate, those that, um, you know, they're not afraid to speak their truth as a couple together. So this is a really strong union. And if this is not you, you're single right now, it could be something you're looking forward to, uh, one after five, which is six. Six could also be nine as well. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. What else can we get for Fiacus? Two of Clubs. This is somebody from the outside. This is somebody watching this union. That's the energy I'm getting from it. Somebody watching with this union. And it doesn't look like he's in favor of it, but he's also not against it. His clubs are down. This is somebody that's also an alchemist as well, um, who knows full well how to take energies and manipulate them in a certain way and he stands right underneath if you could see he stands right underneath this uh depiction of a heart here so it's kind of like he's making the judgment call i guess he's depending on depending on whatever moves they're making right now he's deciding whether or not this is acceptable or whether or not this is um like a solid foundation like a solid union i'm not sensing any jealousy it's not a sexual thing. And he's got a ribbon of red. So he's done some of his root work. He understands that that has a big impact when it comes to unions. A lot of people can be in their lust kind of mode. And if they haven't done the healing work and it's just lust, then there's going to be that energy of trying to do things behind the scenes, almost like a, a an agenda. Okay. So it's almost like this person just kind of monitoring and watching He's a third generation of his kind. He's done this and so has either his father and his grandfather. So maybe this is either the masculine or the feminine's family member. But he's watching them closely. And he sees that they are generous. They are loving and giving and caring. But at the same time, he wants to make sure it's legitimate. Which is fair. What else can we get for Viacus? A Knight of Cups in the Upright. This is somebody that's also on the outside, but somebody that it feels like a third party. Maybe somebody that either knows the, the masculine. This feels like a married couple. I don't know if they actually are married, but it does feel like a married couple already, to be perfectly honest. Maybe they are just so close in union and the way they balance their energies, it's almost like a threat to other people. This person over here, he almost looks like he was going to offer something previously. And I think it's just being ignored. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if he's fully spoken his truth. 
but he's more than re ready if like things go south or something like that he's more than ready to swoop in luck's on their side though the sun shines on both of them let's see what else do we have for a ficus two cards here oh good ace of club in the reverse so it doesn't necessarily have to be um a lustful thing and there's no crying there's no close to betrayal there's nothing negative like that uh there's no mourning maybe this is like a past lover somebody from the past who drew who truly who truly does care about one of these individuals whether it be the masculine or the feminine i'm feeling like this is a masculine that maybe was an ex-lover and so he might have not have spoken his truth and because of that, he's kind of been left out on the sidelines. And yes, that's upsetting and everything. But if you have your moment, your opportune moment, and you don't take it, I mean, it doesn't look like um, it doesn't look like either one of the couple is crying over this past person. And they don't seem physically attracted to or going after them in that sense. Like that's not how they look at them or that's not how they see each other. It's not just a physical thing. It's more like a spiritual connection, whatever you have to offer. It doesn't have to be like the material stuff or just sex or anything like that. This is, this is more than that, which is why I think this other person over here is paying close attention because he's aware how powerful this union is. What else can we get for a Fiacus? There's a little bit of spit of rain. So maybe the past person has been doing a little bit of tearing up, thinking about um, the past relationship. Oh, that went far. I think this person sees you, if you're this feminine in this union, as a Queen of Cups in a reverse, almost like cold hearted, almost like how could you forget about everything that we had? How could you just abandon me like that and all that? But it doesn't feel like it was a bad breakup or anything like that. It feels like it was a mutual kind of agreement, only based off solely that this person, this past lover didn't speak their truth. So no, she's not gonna be crying over it. No, she's not gonna be in any, sort of turmoil from the lost it it's almost like a, a mutual well for her anyways or him this could be male and male but it's almost like they've they've already found their happiness so they're not really looking backwards they're not crying over somebody in the past they're not you know looking at them as hey i miss all those moments that were physical or anything like that I mean, even though she's in the reverse, she still seems very graceful. Like, no, I, I did, I do have love. I care about that person as an individual, but I'm not in love with them anymore. And then we got justice. So sometimes the way scales turn, things do happen for a reason, okay? And whether or not you believe in coincidences, sometimes you, people will come into your life they will um, impact you or you will impact them in a way that it kind of triggers into like a tower moment or um, it kind of puts you on the right path so that once you've taken the information and the knowledge that you learned from this previous relationship or anything like that, that now that you're in a new one, you look at it completely different. And you understand that there are individuals that are still learning. They're still on their healing journey. And you understand that justice comes in, especially if this past person here, although he's in the upright and he means well and he has like a cape of love, you know, lots to give. Just because he has that doesn't mean that things didn't play out the way they were supposed to. So whether or not one of these individuals wants to leave this union I don't think that's the case. It's not feeling like that. It feels very strong. Whether or not they want to leave and go back to this other third party, uh, it looks very much like this other person, maybe he's not focused on anything other than what he's lost. Almost like the, the one that got away sort of mentality, whether this be a male or a female. The energy that I'm getting is a third party, somebody that's in the past. And yes, justice came in. That North Star on the top, that eight-pointed star, is guidance. So it could very well be that this new union happened specifically due to spiritual um, 
5D influence. Okay, so whatever happened in the past, these two individuals got together now, you and this other person or uh, your partner that you're with now, whatever brought you two together was beyond the 3D. It was definitely guided. And like I said, you've got the sun and the moon here. You've got the balance between the two. You've even got the symbolic snake in the background winding up the tree. So this is an old, old uh, rekindled love. This is an old relationship. Maybe in the past didn't work out or you two were separated. And now you're finally coming together. You finally found each other, which is sweet. And is it the seraphim or the cherub, cherubim? Uh, the blue angels up here. That could very well symbolize your uh, spirit guides. Whether or not you believe in that sort of thing. There are a lot of energies here at play. And uh, they're fully aware of what goes on and who's making what moves. And sometimes they make sure that other relationships don't work so that you can get back on your right path. Or so you could learn more lessons if you've stepped up and elevated your vibrational frequency if you've learned the lessons that you needed to in the past and now you're moving on to a whole nother lesson or um, experiences if that makes sense okay so what else can we get for a fire kiss let's get some love oracle cards for a fire kiss please and thank you november 30th to december 17th the fire kiss it's interesting that the mix the alchemist symbol here the mix how you also have the sun and the moon and you also have the masculine feminine kind of like yin and yang the duality of that what else can we get for a fire kiss keeping things to yourself is not a bad thing if you're in a relationship or even if you're single uh keeping things to yourself is not necessarily a bad thing uh we got not enough Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, and ego issues, and jealousy. So this could very well be the person that's in the past that you've left behind or other people in your energy, including that uh, this energy here that's keeping tabs on this relationship to see how it goes. And um, if you're dealing with any hard times in your relationship, realize that there are lessons as well. And sometimes when we're still on our healing journey there's going to be things that trigger us so if it's you and your partner this is a strong union so hang in there communicate the best you can say what it is that you need to say and speak your truth honestly without being um disrespectful in any way i'm not saying that you would be uh, encourage your partner if you can to do the same so that this union lasts uh, lack of confidence that very well could be um this queen of cups here that is in the new relationship or if this is you it just means that your past experiences have kind of disheartened you they've made you feel a little bit down and quite possibly skeptical of the new relationship that you're either headed into if you're not in a union right now or even within yourself because we can come into union with ourselves we have to love ourselves before we can extend that outward genuinely to another person Loving yourself is very crucial, very important, and it is, in my opinion, on the top of the list of things to do. <laughs> um, Self-sabotage would fall in hand with that. I don't feel that this couple is jealous. It doesn't feel like this couple is jealous of anybody else. It seems like they're quite content and uh, focused solely on each other. So wherever his journey ended him up, he ended up with this individual right here. And... It could be masculine and masculine or masculine and feminine but honestly this union is strong in my opinion so let go of any fear do not worry about that if you're single have no fear get that confident know your worth know your value know what you bring to the table if you're not fully aware of what your gifts and talents and abilities are learn more about yourself learn what about your uh, ancestors did even let's say one of them was like a uh, a cobbler or one of your ancestors built uh, architecture or painted and you're like I've never really thought about it and then you get into it and you start tapping into a higher frequency that 
and then you start seeing the signs and synchronicities line up and you're like, holy crap, this is opening doors I never expected. It's because that's something in your bloodline. It's in your DNA. It's a part of who you are and it was passed down to you. And it's one of your birthrights. It's something that belongs to you. Nobody could steal that from you and just say that, hey, it's mine now. Um, so you have to work for it. You have to do your research, find out what you're good at. And then go from there if you're not satisfied internally. And if you're trying to get into a relationship before doing that, then think of all the things that are quite possibly going to be disappointments to you when dealing with another energy since you haven't dealt with your own. So this could be you while they're in a relationship or you're just single by yourself. And again, a little bit of spitting and a little bit of rain. Nothing to be upset about. They're just things that we have to acknowledge within ourselves, and it's not a bad thing, okay? What else do we got for Fiacus? Camera. Reminiscing. I'm seeing selfie. So it's okay to take selfies of yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, reminiscing, keepsake, perception. That's a big one, too. Perception's huge, considering that that makes our reality. So what we see, how we internalize it, um, our beliefs, how we think about ourselves, how we think about our uh, reality is going to determine a lot of things as well. And the rain's getting heavier. If this is upsetting to you, I truly apologize. My goal is not to trigger you when it comes to these readings. I am just merely reading the cards and the energy that I'm getting off them, okay? Uh, learn from the past and make memories. You can always make new memories and it's good to learn. Stick with your, your solar plexus too. Remember that your solar plexus, your sacral chakra, the creativity, the closest to source, that which what uh, children function out of because they're closest to source sources because they are creating they they imagine things first thoughts become things and they create around them and then they experiment and learn a lot of them are alchemists they don't even realize it even young when we're coming into this world uh, we transmute early from the negative energy into positive by keeping our hands busy keeping ourselves busy learn from the past the whole reason we're here is to learn the lessons and then move forward one more uh, love oracle for a ficus, please. What else can we get? So you got the sun on this side and you've got the rain over here coming in on this side. Maybe you're experiencing that. A little bit of both. Okay, so we got the coffin. That's almost like the death card. So that could be a death of one way of thinking, like perception. And a rebirth of a new way of thinking. So it's all how you see things. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You very well could be experiencing your own uh, ascension, and those are going to come with certain uh, physical things, and then emotional things, and then there's the mental aspect of, of it as well. And it can kind of be tricky to navigate the emotions. Get them in check first, in my opinion. Highly recommend you get your emotions in check first. So I'm reacting to this right now negatively. Why am I reacting to it? Where did it first come from? Where does it stem from? And why? And what was my part in it? And how can I understand this as a lesson so that the next time this happens, it doesn't bother me because I have the understanding. Now there's no longer chaos, chaos or conflict. And now I'm able to move forward. Um, if you're transitioning, and I don't mean that for energy necessarily. Let's say you are feminine and you feel like you are... Um, stuck in a masculine's body or anything like that, understand that it is more, um, it is more accepted now than ever before. And when you're an adult and you have these sort of energies, it is because you were placed in a different vessel to learn the experiences that you need to. So maybe in a past life you were a female and you made certain decisions in a past life and this time around you're in a male's body, but you feel, your soul feels like it's still in um, a feminine energy. This is because there is a reason you're being placed in this vessel to learn certain lessons. And as hard as that is to, to for me to say, because I don't want to seem... Um, 
judgmental in any way because I have no judgment on that. There is nothing wrong with your feelings and how you carry yourself and your energy and your energetic signature. Just understand that there are things that play out a certain way so that we learn the lessons. If we fight that or refuse to acknowledge that, it does make things more disappointing and difficult to grasp. And it can even make uh, things a, a lot more difficult on our healing journeys and it can create certain sort of negative vibrational frequencies such as depression or anything like that now I am a woman okay and I carry my energy very well but I also seem to be more towards the masculine energy I carry the masculine energy and that's not to say that I feel like I should be in a masculine's body. I understand why I'm in a feminine body to learn certain lessons and to experience the human condition in a feminine body. But in order to preserve and protect myself, I've had to, I've been placed in situations where I've had to embody the masculine energy a lot more so, which at the, in the time, in the past, in my karmic state had thrown me a little bit of a loop. It's thrown me into, um, a bit more conflict and chaos because I was fighting it so much. But back in the day, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand what the lessons were or that I needed to learn lessons. I was in a karmic state and I was functioning solely out of my lower chakras and also out of my emotion, which meant that I was not aligned and I was in balance and I was reacting out of my emotions and my feelings and the energies around me that I didn't fully understand at the time. So if this helps, just understand there is more to this. I'm not saying that it's wrong for you to want one or the other. What I'm saying is learn the lesson behind it, okay, if that helps you. Okay, so we're going to move on from that. Um, do not be too worried about it, okay? Be your authentic self regardless of what anybody says. I'm going to go into, can we get some past life oracle cards? Please and thank you. Past life oracle card for Ephaicus. One wanted to jump out, but it came back. So you may be being held back by certain energies, which would be lessons as well. Celtic. There are specific groups. There's one, two, three doorways in the back, but they're being held by a cross, which is also um, the symbol for earth, which would also be yourself. If you think of yourself as your own earth, your own universe from within outwards, you are your own earth, right? So you got to get past yourself first. You got to learn what you need to learn within first. And then you have one, two, three doors that will automatically open up behind you. This does have a lot of strong Celtic roots. And I don't know if you resonate with this, but if you do, this message is for you. Learn about or even travel to the places that your ancestors come from. Um, it's okay if you don't have the funds to travel right now. Ask questions. Those of your remaining ancestry, those that are still living, ask questions. Find out more about the past. Ask um certain things that you never bothered to ask before get interested in finding out more so that you can learn more about yourself and it will open up new avenues and pathways as well to learn more information so every time you learn something new about your past what's going to happen is there's going to be another um opportunity put in front of you so i'm learning this i'm learning this wow i didn't know that wow i didn't know that next thing you know you get a call um, or maybe get hired on to a company that deals with uh, travel or maybe you find something out about a past ancestor that you had no idea about and then you go to a certain place and then you find a box or you find a card or a letter left and it leaves it's almost like um, what's that it's almost I wouldn't say a game but it's almost like um, putting the pieces together like connecting the dots which is crucial as well here in the 3d as we're learning especially on a healing journey to connect the dots to find out the truth that's been either buried away on purpose or hidden away just because it wasn't meant to be seen at the time and now you're coming into it the new generation and now you're learning more you're moving forward because you're meant to and I put that right over top of the mix symbol. The number five specific. Okay. Authority figures. Again, when it comes to justice, 
there could be a lot of justice being brought into you. The more research the, that you do, the more that you learn about this, um, the more that uh, proper judgment will be brought in for any injustice that's happened in your life. Okay? And that I can almost like 99.9% .9 guarantee you is going to happen. Every time you are on the right path and you're doing what your mission here is to do. And I'm not saying that to sound like a religious uh, person or anything like that. But whatever your mission is, your destiny that's for this specific timeline and here in the 3D, the more you're learning, the more you're uncovering certain things, the more justice will come be brought into you and if you've su suffered severely especially you could be very well the one in your family that is making the decisions when it comes to what you learn about individuals especially if you're neutral or if you are a light worker or something like that you've been given that gift so that you can make judgment calls based off of what you are seeing and hearing in a non-biased way so let's say two people in your family are fighting and you see this side and you see this side and you know deep down inside what is right. You've done the majority of your shadow work and you're understanding more about yourself so that you can understand where they're coming from both sides and you can make the best judgment call if you are um, capable of doing so. If you're not sure, then don't make the judgment call. Say, I leave it up to the divine universe to make the judgment call and the collective consciousness as one. This is what I'm seeing. This is the evidence. These are the receipts. This is what I'm pulling in. This is the information I have right now to go on. In my opinion, I feel this way and this way, but I don't want to make a judgment right now. Okay. I don't feel ready to do so. Or if you do feel ready to do so and you're experienced in this, then I make a judgment call based on these two. And this is how I see the outcome should be for both parties in, in respect to yourself and respect to both parties and not in a low vibrational state. Like not out of jealousy, not out of spite, not out of hatred, not out of um, oh, you did this to grandpa years ago or grandpa did this to you years ago and it has nothing to do with me, but now I'm, no, 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 you have to see the whole picture as well. Almost like you're on autopilot, if that makes sense. What else can we get? Medicine man or woman. So you as a man or a woman could very well be gifted in healing. This could be why you're being given from your DNA, your bloodline, the opportunity to be the authority figure because you want to heal, you want to help the collective. That's the reason why your generation was brought in at this very moment in time. Um, you could be your own justice for your family and yourself. And if you just got into union, this too is going to be opening up the doors, as you can see behind here, one, two, three, opening up the doors to those. So maybe the minute you get married or the veil is fully lifted or you are both in balance, uh, you're going to be open to more than you ever expected before. And you're going to learn a whole lot more. Um, I wouldn't say the book of life, but you're going to learn a lot more than you did previously to this. And because of your generous nature, because of your kind ways, whether this be both of you or just one of you, I'm going to assume both. Um, this person here may be very well the person that is making at this moment in time until somebody is their replacement to come in and make the decision calls if they're not doing it properly. If they're abusing their privileges very well. Keep this in mind. If somebody in your family is the authority figure and they're making judgment calls, but they've been doing it with the past programming and old ways of thinking, and they're doing it out of a lower vibrational state, they will be replaced. Very well could be the case, but uh, if you could see, there's four houses in the back. One, two, three, four. So two on this side, two on this side, and he stands in the middle between the two. And there's the, the heart in the middle. Also the eight-pointed star as well, which is right above her head here. The justice, eight-pointed star, and eight-pointed star. So he could also be somebody that's guiding you or giving you information. Make sure to think for yourself, even if they give you information, okay? All 
right, what else can we get here? If you are into medicine or healing, or if you know nothing about it, maybe you want to get into it. Maybe you want to start learning about herbal medicinal stuff. <laughs> I keep having to open and close. So those little bit of tears that are coming out, I don't know if this is you, your partner, or this is the third party, but it's like a little sprinkle here, a little sprinkle there. And uh, hopefully it's with good intent. Transportation, you could very well be moving at this time or um, be in movement on your journey. Uh, what else can we get here? I think that's pretty much it. Fray. Afraid, broil, a night, afraid, a place in cloth, to rub, to fret as cloth by wearing, top, come worn by rubbing. Um, the old, what do you call it, the old ways could very well be considered like um, threads, okay? Like threads of existence. And the old programming the old ways could be fraying as new ones are being woven. I don't know if that makes sense. Kind of like a dream catcher. Okay. And let's say, um, in a spider web, the web itself only lasts so long and there's multiple things outside of it. X factors that can wear away at it or move it out the way or, um, get wrapped up or whatever, but there's new ones being created. So right here, fray, and I also said it's seen free as well. So they could be getting frayed, which means they are no longer going to be a part of your reality. You are now in a different timeline, if that makes sense. Okay, what else we got for a fire kiss? One or two more here. Curve. Bending inflected. A bending without angles. A bent line to bend. You very well could be somebody that can manipulate energy. Um, if this is you or it could be somebody else, this could be the person that's outside watching. Hopefully they're not having an impact on your relationship here or keeping you in a state of mind of being like the queen of cups in reverse. Hopefully this is not an outside party as well that has an impact, but I don't think so. It doesn't feel that way. Curve. Seeing like, uh... You know in a glass, when you pour water in a glass, like an illusion, things can be curved looking through, like perception. So the more water or emotion you pour into it, the more it's curved. All right? So if you cling to the emotion, and you don't drink some of that water, which is good for you, by the way, um, then it's going to be like a bit distorted, if that makes sense. Okay, hopefully that helps. Dinner, huh, principal meal, meal of the day. Maybe you're going to a dinner party and this is all coming out. Tabernacle, a booth, a temporary habitation, a place of worship, a respiratory for holy things. You could be very uh, religious yourself or this could be just the way your family functions, which is why they have an impact. Keep in mind, it's like a system and old programming.